Uh, hello? Hello everyone, uh, you Bell Master here, aka 38 the Master One, bringing you a live stream for the you Bell community, and I'm thinking we should just get straight into it, as because I want to think about you bod heads who have to skip the intro of me like testing sound and everything. So yeah, welcome bod heads, welcome uh, live viewers as well. Um, we're gonna go straight into the first duels. We're in gold four right now. Uh, you can see the, the previous win-loss ratios, and hopefully I can remember to actually update them this time. Um, and yeah, we're going to continue with uh, Ubel Unchained, uh, because it's fun. And uh, until we start to get into the higher ranks, I don't think we're going to be losing that often with this deck. So yeah, let's do this. Let's get some OTKs in. Yeah, going second. Yo, hey Brave. Welcome to the stream, as always. What's up, what's up? Oh, bricks, 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 bricks. We can, This is pretty bricky, but funny enough, I think we can actually um, do decently with this. Yeah, we're Ash Blossom in this. Because we have Tour Guide, which is like pretty much all we need. And we also have Spirit Gates, like, as an extender. Oh, he had the cross out. Uh, he's going to start synchroing now. Is this a new card, by the way? Because I don't remember seeing, like, synchro players use this. Unless, like, I just haven't come across that many synchro players because I've been, like, playing Pearlies and Masters all this time. I hope this guy doesn't go too nuts on me. Because I don't have any board breakers at the moment and I have two bricks. We have a question. Uh, oh, Ivan. Hey, I've seen you in the comments of some of my videos. Uh, when do you predict the U-Bell support will come to Master Duel? I don't know how far behind uh, Master Duel is compared to the TCG. So yeah, there's there's no like exact like time lag. So you can't predict exactly when it'll come out. Um, but usually when they release cards, they like to release them in like either secret packs or selection packs with like all of the support together. So for example, they released Popular pretty early because they released Popular along with all of the other Snake, Snake Eye stuff in Age of Overlord. So they released all of the Snake Eye stuff in Age of Overlord plus Popular, which was just a single card in Phantom Nightmare. And this was like shortly after the TCG. Oh my, this guy's going ham. Just went full junk speeder. Come think of it, maybe I should like save Ash Blossoms for the junk speeder, but like, Last time I Ash Blossomed uh, Junk Converter, uh, it like ended their turn. Anyway, um, so yeah, as for the Ubel support, like uh, no one can really predict, but like uh, we'll be lucky if we get it next month. Like Decade hasn't leaked anything for 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 next month that suggests Ubel stuff. Um, but so probably um, I don't expect us to get it next month, but like maybe the month after. Uh, or maybe they're going to wait for Phantom of Ubel to come out in the TCG before they release like all of the Ubel support in one go, including Phantom of Ubel. That'll be, that'll be kind of nutty, but like, I actually don't think they're going to do that. I actually think they're going to release everything except for Phantom of Ubel. Because um, they did that with Pearlies, where they released all of the Pearly stuff except for the stuff from Age of Overlord. Was it Age of Overlord or was it June? Yeah, they, okay, so they released all of the Pearly stuff except for the stuff from, um, from June which was the baby XYZ Noir. Um, so I think that's what they're going to do with um, Ubel. They're going to release um, everything except for Phantom of Ubel. And probably like July, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe July. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have actually seen the new Cosmo Queen uh retrain i didn't even know it was what what it was a retrain of um but um I, apparently it's a retrain but yeah it's, it's like a main deck ancient fairy dragon which is really interesting i, I actually i actually think it could have some applications in a U bell deck um because obviously we rely on a lot on the field spell and although when i say applications in the U bell deck i don't think it's like main deck worthy but i think it is like worthy to put in a deck where like you're using like a field spell like 
um, Ubel deck, if that makes sense. So like, you would run stuff like Beatrice to dump the Crystal Beast Trap, which um, which like searches you a field spell, and then you have like set rotation and like multiple field spells, maybe like uh, Planet Rhesus and like the Fenrir, because in, in TCG Fenrir is at three. Um, and then like we have like other, maybe we can e even like use Neos Kluger and then like have Village of the Spellcasters to lock our opponent out of out of um, spell cards because Neos Kluger is a spellcaster. So yeah. I wish a new Cosmo Queen was level 9 so it could splash with generators. Oh, right, yeah. Generators have level 9 synergy. Man, this guy's popping off. He has 18 counters on Synchro World. I, I didn't actually... Oh, Synchro World just got released in Master recently, didn't it? Uh, I guess that's why people are running it. Like, is this, is this a new card that got released in Master or something? This Junk Converter. Does anyone know if this is this Junk Converter is new as well? Oh yeah, Crimson Dragon got released in Master Doll as well. Am I going to get Calamity locked? Is Calamity in Master Doll? This guy's going nuts. And I, I, this is not looking good, by the way, chat. This is... Uh, unless I draw like a Kaiju, like... He's definitely going to get out Quasar. Yeah, there's the Quasar. <laughs> So, there's an Omni Negate on me. Like, I really need a Kaiju for this Omni Negate, because I actually only have, like, pretty much one interaction with his Tour Guide. <laughs> and he's just going to negate the Tour Guide. And, like, with opening, I can, like, add Dark Beckoning Beast. Maybe we should start with opening, actually. Actually, yeah, I'll start with opening, bait out the Negate, um, and then summon Tour Guide. Because if I summon Tour Guide, then use opening, then I don't have a normal summon anymore. But even if I do this, I can't get two Fiends on the field. Maybe we should have that. Maybe we should have like Almirage in this. Oh, there's no point going Almirage. Like the, the value of put, putting Almirage in, in this deck is because of SP Little Knight, because you can go Almirage and then uh, disc, uh, put Dark Beckoning Beast in the graveyard, discard to summon Dark Beckoning Beast, and then you get a free SP Little Knight. But yeah, I don't know. Oh, hey, Kyushu. Uh, I know. No Bish Balkan. Oh, no Easy 12. Um. But is, is Calamity in Master Doll, though? Because he does have a 12 in the form of Quasar, so he could just use the Omni Negate and then... And then trade that out for a... Um, man, what is... Is this not once per turn? This guy's moving mad counters. Yo, you could just special summon Tuners for the Grave, like... <laughs> this guy had, like, over 20 counters. You can like, special summon, like, three Tuners on the... Okay. The first time I saw this, I was like, this card sucks. Because it's like, in the sneak peek, this was like, unplayable. But like, I suppose this is like, playable because like, Crimson Dragon searches it. And then like, you get to, spe it's basically not once per turn, so you can special summon like, is this? Yeah, it's actually not once per turn, that's nuts. Yeah, he's just not stopping. He's just <laughs> okay. This guy already has like, is this in the gate as well? This shooting, it feels like in a gate. Once per turn, you gain the defense. Oh bloody hell! There's no, there's. I'm, I'm not winning this. This is impossible. Yo, what? <laughs> this guy has one, two, three negates, and he has like crimson dragon, probably into calamity. Um. Okay, we we drew the dark bending beast. That's like something. But, oh man. Oh well. Oh wait, it can send. It's a, okay. Well, it's a. It's it's. A, what is this board? What I? <laughs> what is this board? Oh my god. What is this? He had he like he. This guy actually had the cross out for my ash blossom as well. Like, <laughs> bro. There's nothing I could have done. I have to, even with even with these two bricks. I can't. There's nothing I can do, man. What is this? This is gold. Okay, for, for you for you guys who watched my stream on Monday, you like every single game was just like 60 deck, like Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, like, uh, and I, I OTK'd like two players, right? The only good player I had was a Trap Tricks player and he, and he beat me, right? But then like, today, first game, like, bro, <laughs> I'm not even going to try and play into this. I'm just going to give him the victory. <laughs> like, he, has, he has three negates. I'm... I'm 
Calamity locked, so like I can't activate anything for him to negate anyway. Wait, he has four negates. This is a negate. Yo, this board is so efficient as well. What's the one of the This guy has five negates! He has five negates! <laughs> what the heck? I've actually never seen something I've never actually never seen a board like worse than this. This is literally the worst board I've seen in my entire like Master Door career. In my entire TCG career as well. This is nuts. Uh, five negates, Calamity Lock. I, don't, I, can't, I literally can't think of a better end board. Bro, <laughs> what? Uh. Oh, oh, wait. Her Herald means everything's banished? What the heck? <laughs> oh my god. Why does Herald do that? Because I, I only know Herald as like the negate on board and um, when it's sent to the graveyard, you can search a ritual stuff. Is as a macro. Why is why is that a card? <laughs> Man, this game's so broken. Yeah, the only thing I had was Kurikara, and I don't think Kurikara is like guaranteed to. Okay, here we go. Here's a normal gold game. T set pass. Oh wait, never mind. Is it like is it like a Wednesday? Is it like Wednesday when like. All of the good gold players come out and just trash me. Oh man. I, I, I've never seen Manadium like make a board that crazy though. Like fi five negate. I've seen them make Calamity, right? I've seen I've seen you make Calamity against me, Kyushu. <laughs> but like fi five negates on top of that? Like, like the only out to that board is, is Super Poly. Plus like two other board break breakers <laughs> like draw phase super volley to get that rid of the crimson dragon okay so this is looking like a full combo pendulums but we do have two kaijus we can only use one of them though but mm. oh really i guess i just i guess i just didn't pay attention to the four negates because i was just like oh calamity gg anyway so, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Impressive, impressive. I, I remember, I remember I was, I, I guess I wasn't keeping track because I, I was like, can I go to the toilet? Like, I really need to pee. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, sure. I probably wouldn't have finished the combo by then. I remember that. The new Zark. It, it, it have, have they not, it, which one's the new Zark? The one in Age of Overlord, like the Age of Overlord cover card? Have they not released that in Master Door? I thought they did. Oh no, I don't I don't keep track of anything that isn't like UL related. <laughs> uh Imagine playing Electromite. Master Door still needs to add some uh, Dune cards. Really? I thought that the latest pack added all the Dune cards. I guess there's some missing. I, I mean, are you talking about anything significant? Because I'm pretty. I, I feel like they released all of the main archetypes. We we already got. Um... Oh, we get, aren't we getting those in like uh, 11th of April or something? Wait, isn't it 11th of April today? No, it's 11th of April tomorrow. Yeah, aren't we getting like um, the Dune stuff tomorrow? Or are there still some more Dune stuff that hasn't been announced? Because I remember was, they've announced some more Dune stuff to come out. Wait. What, what's the interaction they have? I always forget what, what this says. Wait, that's not that's not interaction. Wait, what did he do? What? Does he have any like interaction? Did he search like an Omni Negate or something? I just wasn't paying attention to the combo. What did he do? Like, <laughs> do I do I have to worry about something? Okay, let me actually properly read this. Uh, does a pendulum effect matter? If this card you control is destroyed battle card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. No, if a card, okay. Then choose one monster in the field, extra deck if it's banished. Uh, add one monster to the same name from your deck. This, uh, so this doesn't have any negates, right? It just summons Supreme Zark. 
but that's that's not a quick effect. Um, yeah, this is just that's not a quick effect. It's not a quick effect. Um, aren't I just like good to go? You just kaiju them and then like get it get it rolling. Um. So we have opening the spirit gates to bring out U Bell. Uh, I think we'll start off with the Shardara though, and then just use the opening as a normal summon. Unfortunately, we did open the opening for the second time. So, what? Excuse me. What? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> that was his one int. What? What? What effect is there to even the gate? If your opponent controls, is that is that an effect? Is that an effect? Especially, I thought it was an inherent summon. Oh, oh wait, this can negate inherent summons. <laughs> Bro, I could just kaiju him again. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, um, I'm gonna ignore that. What on earth was that? I I mean, um, yeah. Uh, on on Monday, I did have um, uh, someone torrential tribute my kaiju, like I, as like the first play with, and I had nothing on board. I just kaiju him first first action, and he just, uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna torrential tribute. <laughs> to be fair, he had no other monsters, but like, I'm giving you like a three thousand attack monster. Maybe they're, maybe they're like scared, oh, they're playing with Kankos or something. And like, I don't want to give them damage or something. <laughs> like, but still, like, it's not something I would do. Like, negate the Kankos. <laughs> Duh. Um, okay, I've got to remember how to do this combo. Uh, we are adding this to hand, I think. Wait, um... We need to, uh, we can save our normal summon for the Dark Beckoning Beast, but it's only one Dark Beckoning Beast, so maybe we should, like, normal summon this to get two level threes on. Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna make it simpler. We're gonna not normal summon the Dark Beckoning Beast, but instead we're just going to, oh, wait, maybe we did need to normal summon Dark Beckoning Beast. Okay, we'll, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out as we go. Um, we don't have anything to set, though. Um... Okay, well, I think first we do this. I just want to get out Cherubini first before I fiend lock myself. Um, level three. Astrograph Pendulum's effect. Uh, I have no idea. I don't think it's relevant. You can, like, screenshot this or something. Uh, yeah. Because I need to not run out of time. Um, Cherubini. Okay, so actually, this is this is going to be like a pretty... If everything goes well, I, I don't get hand trapped. This is going to be a pretty good demonstration of um, an OTK actually using the Kaiju. We send U-Bell. And then now we can use opening... Ooh, we, oh, this is this is actually so perfect. This is so perfect. Uh, you know, okay. I'm currently making a video and I'm actually tempted to like um, add this replay to the video. Uh, okay. So, yeah, we want to discard. Special summon this. And then activate this. This is like the full capabilities. This is like a perfect showcase of the full capabilities of this deck. Hope my opponent doesn't quit. Um, and then we can go into access code because we're not fiend locked. And it's super consistent as well because um, we searched we searched U Bell using extra deck monsters. And then we, oh, we can, oh, this is so spicy. Oh my God. 
Oh, actually, we can't destroy a spell or trap. We have to not destroy a spell or trap kit. Because if we destroy a spell or trap, then you bell will miss the timing. So we activate... Uh, I guess we go... It doesn't matter, chaining order, I guess. Oh, it does matter, the chaining order, actually. But not that much, it's fine. Um, so yeah, we can go into Caesar as well. Uh, uh, actually, we go in this and then trigger the effect. Destroy card. And then U Bell summons Terra. Uh, we probably want Rakea. Yeah, we'll go Rakea. Um, Rakea will destroy this. And then this will bring out Abomination. And then we'll discard one with Abomination to destroy Terra Incarnate. Because we've already used our normal summon, so we don't need the Dark Beckoning Beast. Activate this. Oh, this is... Why is this in defense mode? <laughs> Whoops. Um, we'll just pop something. So now we can't Pendulum Summon anymore. Which one is the better one to pop? If you have a... Probably this one. This one adds. Um, and then we'll just Link Summon for a little bit more damage. If I summon this in attack, then I wouldn't have to do this, but, like, it's fine. So this is more than enough for game, anyway. Like, oh, and we actually get to use a kaiju. This is this is this is so perfect. Three thousand damage. Get that max damage. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. That that showed that that showcased everything that that can do, like down to the opening the spirit gates, recycling the continuous spell, and. Um, uh, getting into Thingy without uh, getting into Cherubini, uh, getting into the access code without locking myself. So good. Ugh. This deck is so much fun. <laughs> Just like OTKing with you, Bell. It, it's kind of unnecessary because, like, technically, um, Unchained can probably just OTK without you, Bell. But, like, it's just fun, you know? <laughs> Because, like, literally the only thing that you that you belt adds is, like, 3,300 extra damage to the OTK. And I had more than 3,300 damage in that, like, line anyway. So. Because I could have gone into Anguish and, like, remove his monster there. Oh, we have the opening again. We keep on drawing opening. <laughs> we actually don't want to draw opening in this because, um... Uh, just starting with opening itself isn't uh, isn't full combo. Uh, you have to start with Dark Beckoning Beast because this will only get us one Fiend. Because opening searches Dark Beckoning Beast and then you normal summon Dark Beckoning Beast and we don't have a second opening to search, so we just have a single Fiend monster and that's it. But we drew other engines, so even if we didn't draw the Dark Beckoning Beast, we're fine. Oh, I've never actually seen this card. I I guess this card was like released during my hiatus. I've seen this card before, but this card was also released during my hiatus. Uh, so what do these do? You can reveal one, especially someone from your hand. Once per turn, target one face on monster you control. Turn that monster to the hand, then you can apply the following effect. So one flies monster, flies monster. Okay, so this is just like a swapping out thing. Just a special summon. Interesting. Uh, when a card effect is activated, targets quick effect, you can send one effect monster you control to the graveyard. If you add up to two blue eyes monsters with different names from your deck to your hand. Okay. That's, that's quite good, actually. Um, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one blue eyes monster you control. Shuffle it into the deck. If you do special summon this card. Okay, okay. This card's not bad. It doesn't have the battle protection like the other um, Maiden of Eyes of Blue has, but like... 
You do get a plus one though, which is pretty good. Plus two actually. That's really good card. Nice. Watch out for the Spirit Dragon. Does my deck struggle against the Spirit Dragon? Is that is that the level nine synchro or? There's a Jet Dragon. I don't know the blue eyes, okay. This card is in your field of graveyard. Is this an if? If you do. Yeah, so you couldn't special summon. That's fine though. Uh, what does this do again? Card on the field is destroyed by battle card effect. You special summon this from card from their hand or the graveyard. Yeah, at the start of the damage step with this card battles, target one card. Okay, so it bounces, okay. That's not the best draw. Uh, would have preferred to draw a Kaiju. But I guess it doesn't really matter because it's 3,000 attack anyway. It's normal summon this. And... Activate this. And then we can go into Yammer. And then we need to get into Cherubini somehow. It negates stuff in Graveyard. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. Jet Dragon is scary. F uh, it's a little bit scary. It's, it's just one interaction, really. Is Because a, a, bou a Bounce is annoying, but um, I, I can deal with that, honestly. Um, let's see. Uh, I think we had Shavara, right? Yeah. Okay. Um... Start off with this, and then we get two level threes on board. I'm a little bit scared of this back row. I, prob I probably don't need to be scared of this back row, but like... I could set the uh, continuous spell actually with Shavara effects. Yeah, I kind of want to go into Anguish. Okay, they're, they're using... That's actually pretty good for me. I can link this off and get rid of the only interaction they have, because it's only during the battle phase, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. I guess that was the only time he could have summoned it, because, like... Well, he could have summoned it any time, but, like, um... We'll go for this, and we can set and destroy. Okay, so we're going to go into Anguish using uh, Shalvara and this, and then link off the, the Jet Dragon. And we can actually go into Access Code using... Um, using Anguish, because Access Code is a dark monster. And we actually get um, more bonus attack with uh, with Access Code, because we're using a Link 3 now. He has Interaction. Uh, we set the Continuous Spell. And we can recycle this Continuous Spell using uh, Opening. Um, <clears throat> right. Let's Link off the Jet Dragon. These these are like much higher quality games than than last time, than uh, than Mondays. Ooh, tribute! Quick, quick, quick tribute. Um, oh, that's a problem actually. Okay, fair enough. Got around it. Um, well played. Well played. I still have plenty of plays though, so I'm not too worried. Uh, there's just two blue eyes, it's fine. Um, the thing that we... Ooh, okay, hold on. Okay, no, we can't we can get out of level 3 using this. So we'll set this to pop with Zorama. Uh, activate this. Uh, set this and then pop the other trap. And then now we have two level three. So we're just going to Cherubini. Um, activate this. Uh, we'll save for the, the Yammer for later. It probably doesn't matter when we activate it, but... Uh, we'll go Rakea, actually. Um, let's... Uh, maybe we shouldn't have gone Rakea, actually. Maybe we should have done Rakea later in the combo. Uh, but we'll use 
Oh, this fiend locks us. No, I fiend locked myself. Oh, I forgot. I did this last time as well. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm fiend locked. Okay. Um, there's no one doing this. I made this mistake. Like, oh, I should have gone to Cherubini first. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have gone Rakea. I should have just gone to Ruha, so I don't make this make this mistake. Oh, okay. Um, wait. So this means I can't go into Ubel. Wait, 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 wait. If I can't go into Ubel, then th I'm gonna struggle to clear this board. <laughs> um, actually, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Because I can wait. Is, is this is once per turn, isn't it? Yeah, it's once per turn. Okay. Um. I, th I think we'll activate it anyway. And we're going to access code. Oh, I'm fiend locked. I can't go into access code. That's fine. I can go into abomination. Um, we summon... Uh, we summon this, I suppose. Oh, I messed up. Um, we'll go into this so that we have like more link materials. And we'll destroy Rakea floats and trigger these get rid of one of their blue eyes oh that's a real shame though that i fiend block myself because it would have been so much cooler to um use u-bell to actually attack into one of these 3k attack monsters but we can still otk anyway so it doesn't matter that much we haven't got we haven't cycled through the blue dog actually okay and Destroy. This isn't quick effect, is it? Is it? I probably don't care if it is, though. It doesn't look like it's quick effect. Um. So we can go into abomination. We can destroy the other blue eyes, and this is probably like enough damage. This will trigger Abomination. Abomination is going to destroy Blue Eyes. So I messed up the combo. I didn't go into u so Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, special summon. We'll, we'll do this so we can go into. Yeah, they, re they realize that they're dead. But yeah, like it, this this u belt Unchained deck it like is kind of redundant if you think about it. Like. Because you can, like, OTK with Unchained pretty easily without U-Bell. <laughs> but, like... So, this is this deck is basically just for the style points. Um, although, this deck does incorporate, like, new ideas of using Dark Beckoning Beast as extra normal summons. So... Oh, yeah. I I hate Exorcisters. That, that would actually, like, destroy my deck. I just, like, banish, banish, banish as well. Like, I can't, like move stuff from the grave and i'm go i'm always going second so um oh, valence i hate this i hate this deck because it's like there's too much text <laughs> oh my god i'm just gonna ash boss on the first thing i, I don't give a shit <laughs> it's, pro it's probably wrong but i, I don't want to read screw it i just don't want to read Okay, he had the call by anyway, this doesn't matter. That means he can't Ash Blossom me at least. Uh, this hand is actually ass. Like, it's just ass. Like, I can only normal summon one of these. And if it gets negated somehow, then I don't have any plays because this doesn't do anything in the hand unless I get going. Uh. Okay, let's read these field spells because I might be able to use these effects. Uh, when this card is activated, place one valence field spell from your deck to the other side of the field. Uh, if there are two cards in the field zones, the turn player can target one effect monster in the opponent's main monster zone in the same column as one of those monsters they control. Wait, what? The turn player can target one effect monster in the opponent's main monster zone in the same co Right, okay, I get it. Um... <clears throat> They place that opponent's monster face up as a continuous spell in their spell and trap card zone in the same in the same column. Right. Okay. If the zone is occupied, destroy the occupying card. Okay. Right. 
the turn player can also use this effect once per turn. Can only use this effect. Okay. So this isn't quick effect, but I, I understand what it does. It's basically, it just pushes it back and it destroys whatever is in this as long as you have one on your side in the same column. Oh my word, that's complex. Uh, when this card is activated, place one Valence Field Spell, blah, blah, blah. If there are two cards in the field zones, the turn player can target one monster card in their own Spell and Trap card zone. They special summon that card to their own main monster zone in its same column. Okay, can target one monster card zone in their own Spell and Trap card zone. So this isn't column reliant, this is just any monster in the Spell and Trap card zone. Um... <clears throat> The turn player can only use this effect. Okay, right. Okay, so this one summons from here and then that one like pushes back. Interesting. And you're just gonna do Electromite combo one work, sure. I, I I don't wanna read these bloody pendulums. There's so much text. I need to save my brain power because I need to record an outro um, before it gets too late uh, for my video. And also, I'm gonna like edit edit that first uh, that that second game that we had today uh, into the into the video. I wonder I wonder if I should like cut like the other one. Uh, I don't know. You know I have I have read these cards before because this isn't the first time I've I've played against Valence, but like. How am I supposed to remember all of this? <laughs> like, they have a fusion as well. Ugh. I'm assuming you're talking about Valence, because I don't think Exorcistus has a fusion. Like, I understand what Exorcistus do, because they have simple effects. Simple, relatively speaking. Oh, have they released, like, the uh, Link 3? The, like, the Exceed the Pendulum in Master Duel yet? Or is that coming out like tomorrow? I've never seen this. What the heck? <clears throat> Do I have to worry about this? Hold on. Once per at the start of the demonstration from monster battles, you return this card to the hand if you do banish. Okay, I don't need to worry about that. Okay, these are getting negated because of Beyond the Pendulum. Okay, so here comes their Pendulum Summon. Just for two. Wait, you can just add any. F Hold on. It's got a special summon by the effect of a Draco Slayer card. Why? Why was it summoned by the effect of a Draco Slayer card? Wait. No, if this got a special summon by. Or oh, oh, right, or Pendulum Summon. Fair enough. Okay. You can add one field spell from your deck to your hand, then discard one card. So they destroyed the field spells. I guess that's so that I can't make use of them and like start like special summoning stuff. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Yo, I've got a hand trap. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what to destroy here though. Um, I think I'll destroy like one of the level fours. Uh... Um, oh, they added secret village. Oh my God, they added secret village. Um... Spellcasters, right? Machine, machine, spellcaster. Uh, so they have two spellcasters. So if I destroy one of them, they, they still have Secret Village. I think I can play through Secret Village though. Um, maybe I should save this for like destroying the Secret Village, I suppose. But I don't think there's any spell cards I need to worry about. Um, okay, let me think. They've already pendulum summoned. I don't need to destroy those. Um... So are they just relying on Secret Village? I'm using so much time here. Oh my god. It's got Monster Zone. I don't think this has any quick effects. I'm scanning for quick effects. During the main phase. This card is in the Monster Zone. Okay, so maybe this might be able to move on my turn, but you can place one face up. I guess this is just advantage generator. Oh, I don't think this is a quick effect. This is just like utility. But I think I'll get rid of this because they have two level four, so they might be able to like go for a rank four. 
Um, I feel like I feel like it's a good thing to do this because I, I don't think um, Secret Village actually affects me in, in any way. Uh, what can they link into? I don't know if they're locked or not, but like they can go into like an Appaloosa. But then I can just attack over the Appaloosa with this. So I think this is I think this is a, a right decision. Okay, so hopefully that stops them from going for a rank four. I don't know if this is a good thing. Hey, uh, Elian. Hello again. Welcome again to the stream. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not supposed to remember because it's like that's how they just they just win because no one knows what they do. I bet they even have some players who just quit as soon as they see the first valence thing because they just don't want to deal with it. It isn't hard once per turn, but then they, they have to summon it again. Okay, so this has gotten them thinking. So I, I think I, I did disrupt them quite a bit. They can still use the Seeker Village though. But they but actually, if they use Seeker Village, then they have to keep this on the field, which means that they can't link climb without using, uh, by using this, so. Yeah. Yeah, you haven't missed much. You, you missed. Uh, oh my god, Fossil Diner. I'm, I think I'm okay with this though, because I can attack over Fossil Diner. Okay. Uh, th thank, thank god I activated this. It's definitely the right decision. How did he get- did he search Fossil Diner or did he hard draw this? What the heck, man. Okay, this isn't too bad. We just go battle phase, attack over the Fossil Diner. Uh, main phase, two setups and interruptions. Um... We do have to play around the secret village though, which I think we can do. I'm pretty sure we can do. There's like there's like no spell cards we need, so. Um. Oh, what does this do? Oh my god. I'm scared. Vanish one spell. Oh my god, what no! No! There's no way. Oh my god. Okay, um... I still have a 3k beta. That sucks, that sucks so much, bro. Uh, I think we can normal summon this and like, get a search. Bro. <laughs> It adds to hand as well, like... Oh my god. I thought I read everything, but like... I was like, I, I read this and it's like, Oh no, this is fine, this is like a once per turn thing. But I should have read once per turn during the damage step. Oh my god, okay. I don't think there's anything I could have done about that, apart from use Abomination to destroy this thing. Um, but then I, I, I wouldn't have known... That they would have summoned freaking fossil diner though <laughs> so i don't know if i would have done that um oh my god fossil diner man <laughs> it's just <laughs> this one card is so toxic it always has been as well like even back in the day yeah it's just a freaking normal summon man Oh, and then <laughs> he can just crash, and now he can just special summon. God, that's so toxic! Oh my god. At least these games are kind of interesting compared to Monday. So I hope he, I hope he doesn't read this and uh, destroys this because if this, if this gets destroyed. Then I can switch summon it during the end phase and then pop something else. Uh, and I can... I'll, I don't know what I'd pop, actually. It, actually, if he activates that damn thing again, I'm definitely popping that thing that stops it from battle. Because it returns to the freaking hand. I start, if a monster battles, you can return this card to the hand. What? If you do banish one spell from your deck. That's nuts. <laughs> That's so good. Why is that a card? <laughs> okay. 
They've activated. Oh, they're just gonna like combo. Like, <laughs> god damn it. At least they're in main phase too. What's funny is that the anime version is a lot weaker. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, it's a it's a GX card, isn't it? From that from that Dino player. That I mean, the, the fossil player. Yeah, Jim. Fossil fusion. Oh man, triple pendulum summon. Jeez. Oh, I mean, I'm not dead here because he's main phase two, but like... My word, he's going to pop off. This is the nutty water. I don't, I don't even know if um, he's used Selene effects to special summon a spellcaster. It has to be in defense mode, so you can't special summon that. I guess you can summon Droll for like a extra body. Okay, never mind. Maybe they've already used it. Why are you going access code talker? Yo, why are you going access code talker? <laughs> this just benefits me. Oh wait, I can't use it in response, right? So I don't I might not be able to trigger this. Or unless it triggers on a new chain or something. Oh yeah, I still get to activate it. Okay, yeah. So it's, it's not activating in response, it's activating as a new chain. Um, so how many does he have to banish? Just banish this. He has one more, uh, destruction. So I think I'll go into something that floats. Um, probably a Ruha, because I have three of them in the deck. Yeah. We'll go into this. I think this is going to be my last game, because I've used so much brain power in these past, like, three games. That, like, <laughs> I think I need to call it a night after this. Okay, so this, this floats as well during the end phase. Using it again? Okay, sure. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep floating, bro. <laughs> I can also destroy your axe. Actually, I want to leave the access code talker because I can use it to OTK. Um, I think with this we can like go into something that, that doesn't float. Um, I'm thinking. I'm. I feel like I want to go blue dog to get it in the grave. Or actually, maybe go red dog, so we can set something if 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 they do destroy it again or something. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling like red red dog. I don't know if that's the right decision, but. I don't think it mattered that much. So end phase. We special summon this. We're definitely destroying this thing. Um, what are we discarding though? I. It, it feels like a waste, but I, I think I want to discard the tool. Actually, hold on. No, I mean, I feel like I want to discard the tour guide because the opening will give us more like long-term like follow-up. Um, yeah, I want to go tour guide. Even though we only get a single normal summon, um, we have we have enough fiends that it doesn't actually matter. So yeah, we get rid of this. Okay. Ooh, a kaiju. I don't think there's anything that we need to kaiju. Like unless we want. Oh, actually, there is something. We need to kaiju the spellcaster so that we can activate opening. Oh, that was actually risky. Because I, I completely forgot about um, Secret Village. I wouldn't have been able to activate opening if, if I... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, sh I should have thought more about that. Um... Okay. So we do need to like stop popping stuff. Because they have a really big board. Uh, let's start with Dark Beckoning Beast. And then we will... Uh... Link Beckoning and Thingy into a Yama. And then we need to go into Cherubini. Chainic 1. Chainic 2. We are working with half time as well, so I need to be prepared for that. I'm gonna I'm gonna not read chat because I do need to focus, so I'll I'll read it afterwards, but um I think I think we can set this actually because we get to recycle it. Yeah, this is actually the better set in this deck because we can actually recycle it with opening. Um, and we add. Uh, we don't want to fiend lock ourselves. We've already used the normal summon, so we add Shalvara. Yeah. Okay. Wait, I'm not. I'm not actually sure if we can. Um, if we can get two level threes. 
Uh, oh, actually, I think we can, because we just use this, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, we can. Yeah. So we special summon this. And we can get a second level three using this, and we're still not being locked. Um, right, so, yeah, we set the Aruha. It doesn't really matter what we set with this. We could have set the trap, I think, as well, but... Uh, set the Aruha, activate Aruha. Yeah, this guy was just stupid for going into access code. It just helped me so much. We want to do this. Uh, as much as I want the blue... Usually you would go the blue dog here, but like... Um, actually, we can still go for the blue dog, actually. Because we can use the blue dog to pop... Sor oh, no, wait, but then we won't have two level threes. So we actually have to go this. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Let's go into Cherubini first before we mess up. Am I fiend locked? Oh, I know why I'm fiend locked because this is on the field. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. We just go into this and then now we're no longer fiend locked. Um, we are really low on time though. Uh, and then we go into Cherubini. Oh, I just realized we don't actually have a discard for opening. That could be problematic, but we can still use Yama's effect in the grave, so I think it's fine. Uh, we just need to trigger a destruction. Can we just trigger a destruction somehow? Um, we would have to destroy our own card, right? Okay, this is really interesting. Activate this. Send you bell. Um, so I guess we can go like Abomination and then go Battle Phase. And then we will get out Terra Incarnate. Is that enough? I'm not sure. Um, okay. I think... Oh, I feel like... Okay. Ah, uh, this is so hard. I think we need to go this because we need to actually start popping our own stuff. Usually I would go Access Code Talker because it's like more damage, but... Um, if we bring out like... Hold on. What else can we do? We can't go Muckcracker. We don't have a discard. Um, okay. Um, so we go Battle Phase. And then we can trigger Yammer. But we, we wouldn't have any more pops though. So we'll just go into Terra Incarnate and that's it. Oh, we have to go. We just have to go. Um, I think that we have enough on, on board for game though, right? Uh... I think this is probably the wrong play. We do have end phase destroyers and everything though. Yeah, I, I, I just feel like this is the wrong play. I think we have lethal though. Like, this attack is lethal. Oh, it's not lethal. What? <laughs> 100 off. Um, okay, this is fine. So end phase, we'll get the destroy. Okay, we'll just go end phase. Don't think about it. Oh, I'm, I'm misplaying so much. Terra's going to trigger. Ah. Oh. We do get floats. No, we don't. Okay. <laughs> I messed up. I was supposed to destroy Terra, but I wanted to get rid of the, um, access code talker because, like... He might have OTK'd me. Okay. The hope is he's going to normal sum su summon something and then attack into my Terra Incarnate. And then we go lethal <laughs> with, with that. <laughs> That's the hope. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, I definitely panicked because of time there, but I think there was a much better play. I think I, I should have gone... Um, I should have destroyed the Access Code Talker instead of destroying my own card. But then actually... Even with that, I don't think I would have been able to, like, use Yama to summon something. So I don't think I would have had lethal anyway. Oh, I don't know, actually. So, like, Abomination attack this. Oh, oh, look! No! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I, I called it! I called it! He was going to attack my Yubao anyway! <laughs> Easy game! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I, I predicted it. I'm like, okay, I messed up. But he's going to attack my u bow anyway, because nobody reads cards. Oh, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. That was brilliant. 
That was so good. <laughs> 100 life points left. No, this was all calculated. Legit. I'm not even joking. This was all calculated. I mean, half calculated. I I, I didn't expect to, like... Because I, I was under time pressure, right? But I'm like, this is fine. Because he's going to attack my U-Bell. Oh, uh, let's go. <laughs> I still won with U-Bell. Yeah, I just... Basically, I just miscalculated the number of... um. Because I didn't have a discard. If I had a discard for opening the spirit gates, then this would have been an easy ultimate nightmare OTK. But since I didn't have the discard, um, I, I was I had to use Yammer in the grave. And because of that, the only way to trigger Yam in the grave in that situation, I think, was during the battle phase with the Abomination. That's why I went for the Abomination and not Access Code. Because Access Code can only destroy opponent's monsters, right? And uh, Yammer only triggers when it, you destroy one of the cards you control. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, we are one win away from the next tier, but I am pretty tired. Uh, so I, I think I'm going to call it a night, uh, everyone. And claim our missions. But yeah, thank you for watching. This was actually a really good uh, session today, though. We had some really, really good games. Um, wait, I got a lifetime one? Oh, cool. I didn't catch what, what that one was, but I'll, I'll maybe look at it later. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, we'll see you on everyone on Friday. I, th I think I might be streaming a little bit later than normal on Friday. So um, if I don't stream on Friday, then I'll be streaming Saturday morning uk time uh so yeah so e i'll be either streaming saturday morning uk time or um or friday really really late so yeah look forward to that i'm also releasing a video like showcasing this deck which was which is going to be like edited from monday stream so uh yeah do go check that out hopefully i'll get it uploaded t uh tonight i'll probably have to stay up all night for that but um yeah okay um so yeah thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you in the next one bye